Hello and welcome to the workshop vlog episode 8. Cannot believe I've been going 8 weeks on this vlog now, that's a crazy thought. We're going to start off with some blanks today. So I'm planning on turning this next week. So this is a walnut, paduk, maple, zebrano and purple heart blank. I think this is really cool. Um, it just came to me last night, I thought why not glue these woods together. They go quite well together in my opinion. Quite a funky mix, but I think it'd be really cool. Okay, and last week I discussed, or maybe a few weeks ago, I got hold of these bits of sapili. It was a long piece like that. Um, so I'm going to put a clip in here of me sorting this to get this into this, which is a really nice square stock blank, which I'm going to turn a gardener's dibber out of today. So this video will probably come out. Tell you what, I'll bring it out today as well as the 100 subscriber giveaway. And then this will be on Monday. Um, but yeah, so I'm filming this on Saturday at the moment, the workshop vlog. And it will be out on Monday. The 100 subscriber giveaway will be out today, which is Saturday. And I'll probably bring this video out today as well, if I get around to making it. If not, it'll be on Sunday. But yeah, I'll put a clip here of me machining all those up. Okay, so this took a long time to do, but I've done it. So this is what it started out as, very rough. Here's my still quite rough spindle. I thought I would show you some of the balls I've turned for Wood Turners Blend to get some promo balls done. So this wasn't, this is something different. This isn't Wood Turners Blend related. I wanted to see if it was possible to turn a bowl and stain it with coffee. So this has actually been stained with coffee. I don't know if you can see it's warped slightly because there was so much coffee water on it. And then I used a heat gun to get it to the right shape. So it's actually got quite a lot of warp to it, but it's quite cool. So then I've used these with Wood Turners Blend. So I've got two plywood cups. I need to part all these off. I am aware I haven't parted any of them yet. Um, but it was easier to take them because I took them to a location outside where there were some logs to get photos for them. So keeping them on these little like plinths was really easy. So I've got those two plywood cups. And there's no videos for any of these because I didn't have time to film it. This really nice mango cup. This is wild mango. I haven't finished the insides either. The inside I'll still use food safe finish because it would turn as blend isn't food safe. Um, so that's wild mango, pallet wood, save that one till last, poplar, really like this, it's got a nice shine to it. Wood turners blend's more about the ultra deluxe finish rather than the shine, but it does have a nice subtle shine to it as well. And then my favourite, the walnut cup. This did crack slightly, but you wouldn't necessarily know actually. I really like this though, I need to finish the inside, but it looks so good and the shine on this is amazing. It's strange the difference in shine between certain woods, so for example the pallet wood doesn't have much shine to it, but you take something like wild mango, it's got loads of shine, the walnut's got loads of shine, the plywood cups are my favourite, I think, and the walnut as well, but I had some photos done for that, so thank you um, if you're watching for coming and doing all those photos. Here is the new Wood Turners Blend packaging. I think this looks so cool. Really happy with how it came out. There we go. So I had some help designing that and I will hopefully focus this. Come on, focus. Hopefully that's focused, I can't tell, I'm sure it is. And then there's the back. So this will be hopefully out mid-July, maybe a bit before. I'm hoping mid-July anyway. And there's the bar of Wood Turners Blend. It's got a little key hook so you can hang it up in your workshop on a screw or something and then it comes in a sealed plastic bag as well. So now let's just talk generally about some changes in the workshop. Okay, so we'll start with the obvious one. As you can see, I'm wearing the designer make polo shirt. I think this looks really cool and I'm really happy with how it came out. I think from now on I'm going to wear this every workshop vlog as I think it'd be quite a fun thing to include. I'm just looking around at what else I've got to talk about because there's rather a lot to discuss. Obviously the new workbench which I spoke about last time, the belt sand is sitting under here at the moment because this is a really useful bench for glue ups. I've already managed to spill food safe oil all over the workbench, which is a bit dumb of me, but oh well. Okay, and something else I've been doing is I've got this massive rubble sack. Hopefully you'll be able to see something inside here. Full of sawdust. I'm not sure whether you can see anything in there. I don't want to tip it too much. There you go, you can see. So I've been saving all of the shavings so that I can turn a green wood bowl in a couple of weeks time. I'm going to be turning it from a bit of sycamore, it's a very small piece, it'll be about that size or that size. If you want something for scale, 
Uh, what can I use for scale? Here's a standard junior hacksaw. Here is the bowl. There we go. Um, so it'll be about that size. I would like it to be this size, but it might be this size because we'll see. It's got a couple of minor surface cracks, but nothing that we can't fix. I have just bought a drill chuck for the tail stock, so we're going to be making candle holders, which I'm really excited to do. Probably have something like this as well. I might try and have a go at this. This is really nice to peel. It's very weathered on the outside, but I really like it. Um, I might try and get a hold of those. I've got four of them. And I'm also doing something that I'm so excited to share with you in the next couple of weeks. A wooden cannon. Now, I've been wanting to make a cannon, a wooden one, for so long. But I haven't had sort of the enthusiasm for it. Or just the general sort of, right, here's what you've got to do. You need to try and figure out a plan to make it. Obviously making a wooden cannon is not going to fire, it's made of wood. Um, I know you can fire wooden cannons, but they're a bit complicated to do because obviously it's wood. Wood and fire don't tend to mix very well, obviously. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be turning a wooden cannon. I was going to turn it out of ash, but something wants me to turn it out of sapini now. Um, I'm going to be finishing with boot polish on the outside to get a black, blackened outside to it to make it look sort of like metal in a way. That's about it for the workshop vlog to be honest. I really, really would appreciate feedback on these workshop vlogs. What do you guys want me to talk about in these workshop vlogs? Is there specific things you want me to talk about? Is there specific things you want me to show you? I mean, I organised that over there, those tall organisers along there. Um, that white one is now pretty much empty apart from the bottom row of drawers. Um, so, if there's things you want me to talk about, by all means, put them in the comment section. I've had requests for things in these workshop vlogs before. Um, I sometimes get requests from Instagram, so you might not actually see a comment on it. But if there's things you want me to show, please comment them, because I'm very happy to make these workshop vlogs shorter or longer. As long as you guys are entertained and enjoying them, that's all that really matters, and as long as I have a nice time doing it, that's fine. But yeah, that's it for this workshop vlog. Thanks for watching, guys.